<laughs> Joined by the UN Secretary General, the US Secretary of State, and the President of the General Assembly, Singapore's Foreign Minister convened a day-long meeting of the Forum of Small States, this year celebrating its 20th anniversary. Addressing the consortium of 105 countries with populations under 10 million, Singapore's K. Shanmugam stressed the leading role small nations like his can play. Many of us, as small states, have been successful despite our size and despite our constraints, because we understand what it means to be small and we approach issues realistically with a keen awareness of the external environment. Secretary General Ban Ki moon said the alliance of small countries has made meaningful contributions to the international dialogue. He said many small states are developing nations and require special attention. The UN system is supporting small states in achieving the Millennium Development Goals by assisting them in coping with their vulnerabilities, strengthening capacity, building infrastructure, empowering human resources, and meeting the challenges and opportunities of globalization. After Bond's remarks, Singapore's foreign minister honored him with the first ever Friend of the Forum of Small States Award. Though hailing from a much larger nation, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton singled out small nations like Singapore for playing a large role in the global economy. And she said that on issues like climate change, small nations have often led the way. Had it not been for a coalition of small states, helping push larger countries, including my own, uh, toward agreement and action, we would not have had the outcomes at the Durban meeting that I think moved us forward in the fight against climate change. Though the big speeches here at the UN are over, issues affecting smaller countries will stay on the agenda. The UN will host its Small Island States Conference in 2014. This is Stephen Fee for Channel News Asia at the United Nations in New York.